We're standing on the road in the Quinault Lake, next to the Lake Quinault Resort. I'm about to go visit the big cedar, the biggest red cedar in the world. So, we're about to go on a trail to go see the biggest cedar. And I, apparently, will lead the way. Recording now. Here we go, on our way to go see the giant red cedar. The biggest in the world! <laughs> oh, it's the bigger trees. Here we go. Through the trail system. I'm afraid of bears. So I'm carrying my giant bear net. I'm hoping not to fall. Because if I do, I might die. And I don't want to die today. But if it's my time, it's my time. I'm Rod Lombard. The third. And I enjoy hiking, but it's a dangerous hobby, and there's a good chance you can die on any average hike. To get to the Red Cedar, we have to do some serious hiking. Here I go. One. Here we are. We're approaching the giant red cedar, and something about this territory just makes me seem very small. I don't know what it is, but I'm wondering, is man that big compared to God's creations that he also created aside from man? How big are we? These trees can make a man feel small. I don't like that feeling. It makes me want to get my knife and keep walking. Three. Come on. We're here in the Quinault Rainforest. Still looking for the giant red cedar. Now, it's estimated that the cedar is 19.5 feet in diameter. I don't know if you know anything about diameter, but that's pretty big. We press on. Search it. And there it is. The biggest in the world, Red Sea. As we marvel at God's creation, we think, How small is man and why are we here, Lord? But we're here to fulfill his purpose. Here we are in front of the giant Red Cedar. God's creation. And if it weren't for man, there'd be more of these, but it's okay because somebody's living in a really nice house that was built out of this red cedar. So, I mean, I guess you got to, you know, weigh out your options and, you know, deal with it, but... Man, that's a big tree! Rod Ferguson here. And I'm about to embark on the final mile of this journey. This epic novel was written today in our journey and adventure with Rod Ferguson, I'm about to go into the giant cedar, the biggest red cedar in the world. Watch me and see next time if I survive. Whoa, it's really big in here. Oh, oh, oh. 
got hail in my eye. Oh, ooh. Oh, there's a little, oh. Uh, oh, uh, ooh. Oh, uh, this hail is big. So join us next time on Epic Adventures with Ron Ferguson Jr. Lombard the Third. I'm PBS. Outdoor, pale storm. There's nothing like the scent of an American dream. Being fertilized by American strength. I love America. I got a poop. And my friend has to poop. And I love you. God bless you all. Okay, here I am. I'm at the base of a giant, super Internal orientation doesn't go with crazy tree. That tree's massive, dude. Okay, it's totally huge. Moving on. I think. Well, even this one, dude. Look at the one next to me. It's like another kind of tree.